Well, I have one territory to attack. I guess we're going to the Czech Republic. The Prague. Commander, Carter here. It's absolutely essential that you get this infantry commando in front of you. Making sure to avoid all the Just enough time to plan get the hell back out. Don't bother with Wait, we've already seen this. <laughs> we've already seen that cutscene. That's cheap. Alright, whatever. I remember, gosh, a long time ago, I, this is a question that's kind of often posit posited, posed to streamers, YouTubers, whenever we're trying to make random uh, conversation, but like, did you guys, uh, oh shoot, would it be, it was like first video game crushes. And that's such, like, a stereotypical thing to ask. Well, that went poorly. Maybe we'll be okay. I just forgot, this guy does this stupid thing where he'll bomb a structure and the dude that pops out just gets wrecked by him. Well, maybe we'll be okay. This video game crush was Cortana. I was, uh, the only reason why I bring this up is the commando in Red Alert is Tanya. And I remember, not like necessarily a video game crush, but I think that was the first character that I ever saw that was straight up just like existed for the sake of uh being eye candy in a video game and child me was definitely thrown off by it because like what the heck Gonna lose the guy just trying to get these Sam sites, which is so so sucky. What are my objectives? That's bad. I might have to start this one over just because this guy's taking too much damage. Can I use this for scouting? Cool. I can't. That sucks. What if I... Can I get it to land... places? Wait that for a second. Pretty sure I cannot take take this thing out. And if I try, I'm just going to lose him. Uh, shoot. Because I don't remember if he can snipe a Humvee and actually do sufficient damage to it. I 
I, lo I love the idea of these missions, but the fact that the the dude that pops out of every Sam site can just shoot my guy is just rough. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's restart this one. Yeah, you can't really damage vehicles. I figured as much. God, the music's so good, though. Like, it's hard to be grumpy about loss. It's also one of those where the missions are fairly quick. Uh, I should probably... I mean, if we really wanted to... If we really wanted to do this correctly, I could just save after every, uh... Before and after every Sam site. Oh, there's just no dude that there. Okay, well that makes my life easier. Is there a quick save button? I wish there was. Yeah, because if nobody pops out of the Sam site, then we're good. Then we don't take any damage, and this guy actually stays hale and hearty. Ah, control N is quick save. Thank you. Okay, that was bad. Do you know what the quick load button is? Because yeah, two guys coming out of that is even worse. Don't believe there's a quick load balls. Well, we have a quick save. I'll take it. I remember as a child uh, playing this game at about the same time that I was playing StarCraft because, you know, you kind of end up playing both. I got into StarCraft later. Uh, I was like 10-ish when I started doing StarCraft, which I don't actually remember when StarCraft came out. It was like 97, 98? I was wrong. Um, all I remember is playing StarCraft and having the transports always flying felt so weirdly refreshing. Damn it. The reaction time on some of these characters is rough. Alright, nothing on that one. A lot more HP on this. I wonder if I could hit the hit Humvee as it goes by from up here, from just enough distance that it can't shoot back. That's a Dwight. So use the helicopter. Uh, I could. I think there's a Sam site on the other side, though. They have hella range. Apparently not. Gotta wait for the Jeep to go by, though. Pretty sure it's up here. There it is. Well, that guy was sleeping on the job. Makes my life a lot easier, though. I wish this guy had an even wider range of vision. Just because I... It's been such a long time since I've played an RTS where Fog of War was this restrictive. Usually they're pretty friendly about it. This is actually, like, surprisingly stressful. Not gonna lie. Uh oh. These are bad places.
wonder if I can shoot the wall. No, it doesn't look like I can shoot the wall. Well, in that case, hopefully I can just scoot around it. Okay, this is promise. Ow. A real mad. The tank's a little concerning. Get in, get in. Peace. I was not expecting that level of a response. Uh... Okay. Well... I have a solution. I seriously was not expecting this level of a response. But I guess it works kind of fine for me. I don't know what their plan is. I guess I know what their plan is. Let's see if they forget about me if I cross the cross back across uh back over the river. Peace out, chuckled ducks. Other follow-up question is I don't really know, because we got the one tank there. I guess we could potentially just bum rush it. But yeah, if I can get them stuck there where I was, and I can just bum rush over here, maybe I'll be okay. The the transport helicopter is fairly tanky. I think it could take a, a SAM site hit. Well... Time to test our limits. We are going to have to act if we want to roll. Got it. It was just the hand of Nod. Everything else, not so much, though. <laughs> Gosh, I do do not remember the tanks on that mission. And they just, like, insta-know where you are, too, which is rough. Oh, well. Just take this back? I did. I just took the Czech Republic. How dare you? Commander, was there confusion with that last directive? We wanted you to take everything out, but not still there. We can supply you with full force now, but it's imperative that this mission be completed. Wipe out Nod presence using all available forces. Oh, and FYI. Institute maximum care when transporting captured Tiberium. It seems to display negative effects on some individuals. Out. Ah, oh, there's a trigger on the fire soldiers when you kill them. If you let them walk by, they will not rush you. 
I didn't know that. Sneaky. This cannot be. <laughs> there it is. I was like, we 100% are getting more than this. I remember this section. This section was mean. Run, you fools. Okay, there we go. Much better. Okay, kill that guy. Kill this guy. Got this. Uh, let's move these guys here. And have this guy check my limits. Let's see. I'm not mistaken, the Tiberian field's up here. Because I know one decent strategy, just to offset how long it takes for the Harvester to actually get around. Oh gosh. No. Ugh, what a waste of a tank. I thought those were flame troopers at first. All right. Well, that sucked. It's okay, though. What? Oh, shoot. Map goes up a fair bit further than I thought it did. There we go. Okay, have these guys pull back a bit. Let's get that refinery going. Killing a little bit too much time here, but it's working. Oh, I do miss being able to space my buildings apart by like one space. It helps. It helped a lot. Now if I do that, hopefully you can just, yeah. That's what I was looking for. I go for the weapons factory. Start with just a basic barracks. This is not much Tiberium. Probably why they gave us so much money, but I guess we don't even have that much. Now nah, let's not get that. Let's get a comm center. Anybody that sneaks up over, over here is going to be a problem for me. Nope. There we go. That tank was just making me uncomfortable. See, Red Alert has better FMVs. I would agree. Like, I would I would say Command and Conquer is the more original idea. Once you start hitting the uh, the future games, like, Command & Conquer 2 is kind of wild. And I really appreciated the, the storytelling in that one. There was, like, I'm not going to say more interesting necessarily, but it was, it was good stuff. Red Alert was a little bit more grounded. It was, it was effectively like, hey, what if war was silly? And I was... I was all about that. But it never really left Earth, whereas... There was enough about, uh... Command & Conquer 2 that it almost didn't feel like Earth at all. And I liked that. Okay. 
I'm gonna get that next power plant. Work in the weapons factory? Yeah, we've got enough. Oops. Sadly, we still can't make a uh, weapons field, though. Or weapons field of re uh, repair bay. It's like one of the things I almost never used when I originally played. Just want to fill this out a little bit, see what we got up here. Really? I ran that guy the heck over. Uh. Well, it's fine. Okay. Now we got a decent, decent view of everything. Plunk that there. What can I build? A. I can build the medium tanks. I'm gonna go for a second harvester though first. More money I can get, the better. That's what I meant. The AI has a dodge roll, and I don't. It's insulting. Uh, let's see. So what do we what do we grab next? I don't necessarily know how much I need. Oh, you do need you do need a silo. I don't know if we need more than one silo, to be honest. We get one guard tower. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's get two medium tanks and two light scouts. I guess the other option I have, considering we're actually running out of this Tiberium field pretty quick. Just for the time being. We could go a bit bananas with silos. Nah. Let's not do that. I was thinking this is so freaking far away. Man, this game is vintage. Absolutely. I figure two medium tanks should be should be enough for now. We'll just uh Hmm. Gosh, they just chewed through that like nothing. Let's see, sandbags are cheapest if you want to extend your range. Unfortunately, I don't think I have sandbags. Because, yeah, you're you're completely correct. But we don't have sandbags yet. Okay. I think after this we just want a cloud of unassociated mini gunners. That'll just that'll just be my my group. A lot of random civilians just kind of hanging out. You think the civilians would kind of not want anything to do with this? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We got a couple of jeeps. Instead of riding myself into a location that I don't want anything to do with, and I'm just going to regret. Take our time and scoot around and see what we can see what we can glean with an actual scout. I almost never use these for scouting, and uh yeah, now that I'm older, wiser, and so on and so forth, we should probably actually do it. And the turret decided those houses need to die. Nod is not friendly to you as civilians. Alright, this is actually just the same map we were on earlier, isn't it? Uh, it's not light tank coming for me. Uh, 
Let's see. Okay, if it's going to go down, we're good. Have the cloud of infantry in front. If he's going to be poking at me. We want him to shoot at the infantry and pull them back. Nope. Didn't work. Okay, let's just staging area up here. Take this guy out and then just start pounding that wall. Uh, let's see. Another medium tank? Get another medium tank. Gotta blame the GDI for that house too, of course. They're Nod. That's what they do. Let's see. Oh! I can make rocket soldiers. I forgot that I could make them. Do we wanna... Do we wanna get some rocket soldiers then? Probably, yeah. They're a bit on the pricey side. They've got great range. See, AI will always target the weakest unit. Oh, didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, let's chew through this real quick. Because otherwise he's going to be shelling me from above, and I don't want that. And hang out here. What I'd like to do is set up kind of a, a perimeter right outside and just kind of lure whatever reinforcements he creates into a gun wall. These don't go up. They're going to go up. Okay. Music is bopping. Yeah, it is. Now let's see if let's see if they actually decide to come out, come after me, just because I'm putting holes in their precious walls. Nah, no, it doesn't seem like it. All right. Uh. You guys, good. Yeah. Bring it back up here. We do also have the two engineers. Gosh. No, don't do it. It's a stupid idea. There we go. Nope. Take that out. Good thing we found that beforehand. Lost a couple of infantrymen, which is never fun. Okay, there we go. That is good. Move these guys up. I guess honestly, I'll take out the SAM site. I'm not actually sure if I have to destroy every single Nod structure. I kind of hope, hope so. Oh, capture it for anti-air. Can't. Right, defensive structures do not count. Ooh. Okay, so he's just going to be committing atrocities for a little while. We're going to load up on some rocket soldiers there. Okay, I guess we have to team effort that one. Spread them out a little bit. 
life is good. All right. This guy's super injured, so what we're going to do is just use him as a uh, sacrificial lamb. What the? Oh, okay. Well, there's our answer. Okay. Get some more medium tanks. Looks like he never rebuilt it, rebuilt his hand of nod for whatever reason. Which is kind of confusing. Uh, let's see. One of the funniest things to do in this game is take engineers, take over buildings, sell them. I mean, what do you think I have three engineers sitting around for? That's the plan. Okay, he's getting itchy. Who's going on a trip? Okay, there we go. You do what the heck? Uh, well, that went poorly. Well, it's still the plan, it just sucks because he does prioritize engineers more than a little bit. Screw it. Why are they so gung-ho about just dying? I don't get it. It's fine. At least I got this now. Uh, let's see. Like three recon bikes, I guess. For a second. Oh, right. If I build a barracks over here, that's the trick. I mean, now I can't build cool structures. So that's all that really matters. Uh, hey, I forgot I was building those guys. What are you doing, you damn fool? Okay, so I just put that right there. Wait for a bit, buy an engineer. All right, this should work. Huh, the building you blew up last mission is not there. That's neat. Blew up the construction yard and it was in your playthrough that mission. Huh, cool. Perfect. Well, that sucked. okay. I will commit vengeance upon you by selling your base. I guess I need some more power. Uh, yeah. I'll just make another one. Sure, I could probably do this uh, faster. But this is fun. Just sell that, I don't need it. 
Wait, did he just build a silo next to the other silo? He did. Well, I guess seeing as I have this harvester here, I'm just gonna have it wander off for a little while. Uh, let's take his construction yard. That way you can't make anything new. Sell the construction yard. Ooh, reinforcements. Look at that. Probably build some silos, too. Right. You can't actually queue, queue things up, can you? Alright. Uh, can you? Yeah, it's gonna die before it gets up there, but that's okay. How much money do we think send that one? Not enough, apparently. Oh, it's okay. What else can I... What else can I take? I mean, pretty much everything. He doesn't have a hand of nod. In fact, uh, he's done for. So, let's just buy, like, a silly amount of recon bikes, seeing as they're cheap. And we'll just go nuts with them. Uh, let's take that one. I can, I can sell it for money. Okay, never mind. I guess we've got to just destroy a bunch of these fences. Can I? I always like the recon bikes. They're so, they're so killable. But it's so easy to get around with them. Right, let's sell a couple of those. And let's just bum rush. I mean, at this point, we've got it. We're all good. We... It's a little pathetic that they had no idea I was just hanging out inside his base, but not that surprising either. So what do the planes do? This plane? Uh, it's an airfield. It delivers units for me. Which is really cool, conceptually. Compared to the GDI, which is just making them. You guys wanna kill these guys? I'll just kinda tolerate them. Alright. And then we destroy them all. I was originally wondering how the heck I was going to be able to get the, um... Hope they build another engineer. I will. I will take your funds because I can. Right. Let's take the bikes. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of things we gotta we gotta destroy here. There we go. Excuse me. I would like your funds. And he's dead. All right. Now let's see how a bunch of these shooty bikes do against one of these things. Actually, pretty well. I was underestimating just how flimsy they were. Or I was underestimating the durability. You can definitely tell for at least a number of these. They just absolutely put together these really cheap stock animations and were like, I don't know, we need a cutscene for here. Just chuck the one where the guy blows up the helicopter. 